An assessor establishes the context and purpose of assessment. The assessor must familiarize self with the qualification or unit of competencies to be assessed. Ensure that the assessment site complies with the relevant occupational health and safety requirements. And the assessment resources are available. And ensure that the tool, equipment, and facilities are ready and available in the assessment site before the assessment starts. An assessor must have a checklist of tools, equipment, and facilities on hand to help the assessor monitor the availability and completeness of the tools, equipment, and facilities which is available in the assessor's guide. Plan and prepare the evidence gathering process. An assessor must have one copy of the assessor's guide, specific instruction to the candidate, competency assessment results summary, written report, written test, answer sheets, and rating sheets according to the number of candidate. Hello candidates, I am Dejan Benaya, your competency assessor for technical drafting NCT. I would like to acknowledge the presence of the processing officer, AC manager, Ms. Dina Delauta, test the representative, Mr. Dixter Pimentel. Not to worry about their presence, they're just here to oversee if the conduct of, of competency assessment is accordance with the procedure and methodologies of TESDA. And they are not here to assist you. Kindly submit your admission slip. Thank you. As I call your name, please acknowledge and sign this attendance. Ms. Alvarado. Thank you. Mr. Nicole? Okay, thank you. I have, a, I have here with me your accomplished application form with self-assessment guide. This indication that you can perform all units of competency in array and technical drafting in C2. I would like all of you to welcome to our assessment center for technical drafting in C2. This assessment is to determine the level of your competency, qualification or unit competency to be assessed are the basic, common, and the core competencies. For the core competencies, we have six competencies. The first one, draft architecture layout and details, prepare computer and aid and drawing, draft structural layout and details, draft electrical and electronic layout and details, and job sanitary planning layout and details. And the last one, job mechanical layout and details. I will collect evidence through demonstration, oral questioning, and written test. This assessment method can help you to measure your unpinning knowledge and skills. So for your personal needs, the comfort room is outside our assessment center. And for your meal, we have our canteen outside at the assessment center. So, However, during the assessment, you are not allowed to leave the premises as the assessment center. If you have difficulty in understanding the given instruction, please don't hesitate to call my attention because I am willing to explain and translate it to you, okay? If you have concerns, questions, and there's need for you to clarify the matter concerning the assessment, you can ask for I am willing to assist you. But once the assessment started, Please refrain from asking questions for it is no longer allowed. In case you have any questions regarding the assessment result, you have the right to appeal. You can submit your appeal to the Tesla Provincial Office, where the assessment center and the assessor is accredited. If you have passed the assessment and you are competent, you will be national certificate passer. For the issuance of national certificate, you can claim it at the Provincial Office after five working days. If found not competent, don't worry. We don't worry about it. You can be reassessed anytime at your own convenience. In case the reassessment is full of qualification, you have to undergo the whole assessment process. If found competent in some of the unit of competency, the reassessment will just focus on the unit of competencies that you are found not yet competent. If you fail two consecutive assessment. You are required to uh, take a refreshment course before applying for your assessment. 
for occupational health and safety, then you observe potential hazard posed for, by some growing materials which can cause uh, physical injury. If first aid is needed, we have kits on the right side of the hallway. For the and for the result of your assessment, we observe strict confidentiality. This is to ensure your integrity. This result is only made available to the right personnel and to the institution where had your actual training. In relation to this, the assessment package is placed in the secured place to guarantee the integrity of the assessment package. Please do away from giving any form of information that took place in the assessment process. If you don't have any questions or clarifications, then I'm going to give you a copy of the specific instructions. Please read carefully and if you have any questions, please ask it right now. For I'm willing to translate it from English to your local dialect. Then if you need an assistance, I will be more willing to assist you. You are candidate one, you are candidate two. Candidate one, please proceed to the assessment area while the other candidates you may stay here. assessment area where you are going to perform drafting, architectural, layout, and design. Please read the specific instruction once more. If you have any questions, you may now ask. When the assessment starts, you can no longer ask. Please be informed that after the demonstration, there will be oral questioning. You may now begin. What are the common growing tools used in technical drawing? Collect the evidence and make the assessment decision. Conduct assessment in accordance with methodologies specified in the evidence plan and the specific instruction for the competency assessor. Implement the evidence gathering process and ensure its validity, reliability, fairness, and flexibility. Observe the candidate and keep notes of the candidate's performance during the entire conduct of the assessment. This note will be used for the provision of feedback to the candidate's performance. Collect appropriate evidence and match compatibility to the elements, performance, criteria, range of variables, and evidence guide in the relevant unit of competency. Judge the evidence in terms of the dimension of competency, task skills, task management skills, contingency management skills, and job or role environment skills. Judge the evidence in terms of validity, consistency, currency, authenticity, and sufficiency. Candidate 1, how was the assessment? The assessment is all right, ma'am. So my observation coincides with their opinion. You were able to answer all oral questions correctly. That includes your written test results. But there are areas of improvement such as the following of SRP. Overall, you are competent. Please sign the cars and the rating sheet. You may claim your MC or COC at the Tesla Provincial Office after five working days. Candidate 2, how was the assessment? Um, it's all right, ma'am. There are areas we need to improve. We sign this course and rating sheets. If you are not satisfied with the results of the assessment, you may file an appeal or complain to the Tesla Provincial Office where your assessor and center are affiliated. Do you have any questions? Post assessment. Submit to the assessment center manager the assessment reports. The assessment center manager will give the documents to the processing officer to accomplish the registry of workers assessed and certified. 
and sign the RWAC. After accomplishing the registry of workers assessed and certified, the processing officer will ask the assessor and the assessment center manager to sign before passing it on together with the other documents to the TESTA representative. The TESTA representative will then deliver the documents to the designated TESTA office.